Oh, that's rich. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, Miracle Swingers. I am super fired up to share with you one of the coolest golf swings I've ever had on my channel. And it's from my friend, PGA professional, Peter Barrow, who teaches at the sister course of Eaton Canyon, which is Altadena Golf Club. So if you want to have a golf lesson, you can hit him up at Altadena. Now, I've been practicing there a lot because their practice facilities are a little bit better than Eaton Canyon. And we were talking the other day and he was asking me about the skins game. And you know, these better golfers, they like to be in these skins games because it gives them a little something to fight for, you know? It's, uh, it's a little more casual than going to a formal golf tournament and it still gets you amped up. Like, you know, there's a little money on the line. So you wanna play great. So we've got some great golf tips from Peter today. And man, when I break down his golf swing, it's gonna blow you away. He does some things as good as you can do them. And I'm super excited to share that with you guys. Now, maybe I should reach out to Peter about being the special guest instructor for the next MSE Intensive, which yep. is November 5th and 6th. Please hit me up, Christo, at myswingevolution.com if you'd like details about this transformative weekend of golf instruction. So this is going to be really, really incredible. And also, don't forget, guys, you can get all of my material at MSE TV for just $8.33 a month if you sign up for a year. MSE TV has the over-the-top miracle swing the Hogan Code, my interviews with Jack Nicklaus and Gary Player, and MSE Fitness, not to mention my driving evolution, which I'm about to start again with my new over-the-top golf swing. So I hit it pretty long, but I'm ready to become a bomber. So I'm talking to Sean about working with me on going through my speed training program. So if you wanna follow along, join MSC TV. So let's get into today's vlog with my main man, PGA professional, Peter Barrow. Hey guys, I told you I'm out here for the Tuesday Skins game and I have a special guest. It's my main man, Peter Barrow. What's hey, happening? PGA professional from the sister club to Eaton Canyon. How are you today? Good, good. How's everything? Cool. How's lessons going? Uh, decent. Golf's picking up and everyone's loving it. So. All right. So Peter just birdied the second hole. So. <laughs> All right. so, we, too, but so we got it we got to keep it going i got to pick it up a little bit but we're going to play some uh, fun golf today all right okay so here's peter on the third hole just letting it rip and i just hit mine basically down the center i caught it a little bit on the heel now this is the professor the professor's a good friend of mine. He's a gentleman. He's an awful lot of fun to play golf with. So here I'm picking it up on 10. Hey, Peter, so we were talking about um, playing with uh, a little something on the line as opposed to just hitting giggle. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so all the better players out here always not only do they play the skins game, but they have side bets and everything else. What's that all about? Yeah, so in the course of four, four and a half hours, easy to lose focus, but if you have something that's a little pain or pressure point, no one wants to take money out of their back pocket and give it to somebody else. So just that, it could be a quarter, a dollar, $10. Just that little something is gonna keep you focused on a three footer, on a 30 yard shot, and even where you wanna aim your drive. So yeah, whatever yeah. else. So you got a couple birdies. I think number four may hold up. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. You know, par three, 200 into the wind. Fingers crossed. And you said uh, on this back nine, you said new hole, new attitude. What would you say? Uh, new nine, new state of mind. Uh, okay. I mean, again, we're always trying to break down our round into something small that we could focus on. So if I could treat this as a blank slate, no matter how good or how bad the front nine was, I can take this focus and energy and direct it towards a good finish. I love it. All right, let's make birdies. Okay. All right, so I left myself probably about a 45 yard pitch here to this pin that's in the front. Now this is a pretty easy hole. I'm, I'm not expecting to make money on this hole because I'm sure other guys are gonna birdie it, but 
I hadn't made a birdie yet today, so it would feel really nice if I could get this one close. All right, that one wound up to be about six inches and was my first birdie. Now here we are on number 11 tee box. So Peter pushed his a little bit to the left and I overcut mine to the right. And the professor, he wound up finding the bunker, unfortunately. So I was able to, to punch that nine iron right up there, not too far away. So I had this putt for birdie. Hit it right where I wanted to, and that putt just never broke. I was sure that I, I had the right read on it. And then here's Peter. So we play a side game nice. where we play skins between our group while we're playing. And so after making par on this hole to validate the previous birdie, I picked up five skins. And I was pushing it right all day. And I'll tell you, the professor, he made three birdies on the front nine. He had it three under for, for a while, but he hit a big drive on this hole. This is a pretty long hole, and he set up a good birdie opportunity. Now, this swing by Peter oh, blew my rich. mind. We are going to take a closer look at that for sure. And then here, another one of my misses to the right. I left myself behind that tree and had to punch up in front. But look at this tree. So this is literally a family of squirrels like y'all. This is, yeah. this is, this is what winter What in that. the okay. world oh, yeah. is that? I've never seen anything like this in my life. <laughs> Professor had to point it out. That's crazy. You yeah. think they just stick them there for the winter? Yeah, they stick them there to store. They probably forget about them. <laughs> <laughs> I was licking my chops here after a good drive. And I hit a... Great little wedge shot. I thought I was going to be really close again, but I was about 20 feet short. I couldn't believe it. Ball backed up a little bit. Now this is number 18. The pin's behind the tree, so I decided to hit a draw up the left side to give me an angle at the pin. Feeling really great now, even better. Now Peter's going to go for it all right here. Draw, baby. Wait, that if post round follow up. Yeah. Well, if you have any advice for my game, you you've known okay. me for a few years, you know. Like, what do you think I need to focus on? That's really what it comes down to, right? Uh, I think you hit, you left a few shots out to the right today. Yeah. So I would work on a trap draw three wood or some kind of bunt that you could get down there. Because if you're over 240 at your level of the game, you can definitely get your irons inside scoring distance. So I would say. The ones you left out there were a little too far out yeah. to, to put yourself back in position. And you would have saved pars from some of those, but wouldn't you rather 15 footers for birdie as opposed to trying to... I think those were each when I tried to go gorilla. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I, I tend to come in open, Yeah, you yeah. know? Hips fly, the, the face is... So you could either work on speeding up your hips and your hands at the same time, or just simply finding an 80% swing that works for you. <laughs> it's just hard for me to swing I, 80%. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, today's a lot of fun. It, you know, I'm it glad happened. you got out here finally. Yeah, yeah, finally. It just, it's good to get your competitive juices flowing, see what you need to do. Think we'll get to see you again? Ah, uh, definitely. I'll be back out here, and I know what I need to tighten up, so. Awesome. Look forward to it. Good times, man. All right. So I had a nine iron into this pin, and I was able to draw it up there underneath the hole. Not too bad. Professor seemed to like it. And here's his nice little approach. He hit driver in there. So he stuck it about 10 feet away. Now this putt, I thought I made it. Oh, and I lip out right at the end. That would have been fun to make a third birdie.
it looks downhill, but these greens are a little shaggy this day. They had punched them a few weeks ago, so they're letting them grow in a little bit. Now the professor for his fourth or fifth birdie of the day. And unfortunately it didn't fall, but I'll tell you what, golf with friends, and these guys are good golfers. It was just such a wonderful day, and this is what golf is all about for me. You know, I love playing with guys that, that are super cool and play really good golf. Now let's take a look at Peter's amazing golf swing. Oh, that's rich. Okay, so we're going to pick up with Peter here on the 11th tee box, and I'm going to talk about what category of swinger he is first. Okay, so he normally hits a, a draw out there. Now, I want to take a closer look at this swing. There's some very interesting things we're going to see as he hits this golf ball. Now, I would call Peter a body hitter. Okay, so there's body swingers and there's arm swingers. Peter really uses his body super duper well. Now in terms of hitter versus swinger, what we're going to see here is Peter's body rotation is so good. Look at how much right arm, or in his case left arm bend, is left to apply a hit into the ball. Like this is getting into Trevino and Hogan territory here. So that's, that's pretty remarkable. Now what I want to show you next is how much body he gets into it. So once we get through the transition and he gets the club settled, watch how that upper right arm is glued to his body. That's basically not moving at all. That arm isn't coming off the chest. He's just driving with the legs and turning with the core. So this is something I would love to have more of in my swing. All right, so this next swing is on the number 10 tee box, and I would like to talk a little bit more about how Peter uses his leg drive. So we can see that he really gets his legs into the swing and just pounds it. I love the aggressive nature of it. So when we take a little slower breakdown here, we're going to see what, how he gets into this. So he's fully loaded into his left leg. It's always a little bit backwards when I look at a lefty. But we see this little transition move here where he's got a little lasso at the top of his swing here, a little redirection move. But very quickly, he gets to his lead side. You're going to see that trail foot comes up. And once again, we're going to see that outstanding body and hip rotation that squares the club up. Now, squaring the club up, let's look at this, how this club face is just, just flying right through the impact zone with very little face rotation. So this is something everybody at home should be trying to emulate. I wish I had this little face rotation through the hit. So very beautiful fluid motion there. Now this next swing is the one that blew my mind. I saw this when I got home and I was like, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that's rich. <laughs> So he pounded that right up the center. But we've talked about the leg drive. We've talked about the body hit. But watch from this angle here. He's got so much right arm. Faces screaming at the ball square to his target line. Look at how much, I keep saying right arm. Look at how much left arm he has to apply hit to the ball. This is the most Hogan-like extension 
I think I've ever had on my swing evolution. And he's my buddy right down the street. I didn't realize he had this. Man, look at that extension. Now, Peter, when he came to the United States, I think he was raised in Barbados, he said. He played on a tennis scholarship in Central Florida. That's where I'm from. So there's a lot of, like, tennis forehand I see in his golf swing. But look at how square he keeps that hand applying pressure straight out towards his target. And, I mean, he smoked this ball right up the middle. But that extension is something out of this world. I don't know if that will ever be in the cards for me, but I sure wish it was. So I look forward to playing more rounds of golf with Peter, and I hope you hit him long and hit him straight. Are you ready to experience your very own miracle? Cristo Garcia, the man who swung as Ben Hogan on the Golf Channel special Hogan, has created the most controversial and effective golf training program in history. The old PGA pros, they had this much simpler kind of wisdom. That's what I'm talking about, my friend. What made the most sense was learning how to put leverage on the shaft. It's a miracle. That's the old TT. <laughs> Do you have a burning desire to get better at golf? Like that. Are you frustrated by overcomplicated modern golf instruction? Well, your prayers have been answered. OTT! Now's your chance to learn the over the top miracle swing. Only at myswingevolution.com.